A very warm welcome from Guwahati as we get set for match 37 from the Hero Indian Super League. It's fifth place, Northeast United, at home to the Kerala Blasters, who have just one win in seven games. Courtesy of Rahul Kumar Gupta. And it's Northeast in possession. The man of the moment, I've got you. The number 10 has got six goals already this season. And they might look for it. It's gone a little bit too deep. Gallego is in the box there. Chingan heads clear. And we look at Kerala Blasters now pressing. A rare moment for them. Well, he's going for goal, and the keeper takes it. He Come made the angle better, didn't he, for Blacknick? He did, but it was comfortable. It was there for him. Nice and easy in the end for Pawan Kumar. Well played from Blacknick, though. Just opened himself up. He just needed to be bent a little wider. Needed to go past Gritch. That's his 15th attempt this season. Numbers are back in favour of Kerala. And the deflection, it was a attempt from Gallego, took a touch, but not too much to cause an alarm bell for Diraj. Kali, I think it was, who got the touch on it as well. Gallego with a strike. Uh, seriously tested as yet. But they just might be now! And they are Betcher's header. Bodies on the line, the youngster stands tall. What a save. What a save from Dinars. But how, oh how, has Ogbechi got a free header eight yards out from goal? There's no one marking him. He's got the power in it. Dinars does just enough to push it away. Terrible mark. Halicharan. That's a great ball. Free header. Has to be in. Has to go in. Len Dungal will not get a clearer chance than that, surely. Lenny, 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 Lenny. Wow, wow, wow. No marking. It's terrible. Putti just comes and sees it late. It's a great ball floating into the far post. But Len has to hit the target there. Ali Chanan hangs it up. Len Dungal, who we know can come onto the ball. We know he can score goals. Cleverly done. Putia, free head near post, and missing the target. The centre-back can't believe it. He was up there for that, and that alone. Komorski comes up empty. How's he missed it? That's what I want to know. Look, there's no one marking him, but Platnik's just looked at him. Redeem. Gee, the passes are fantastic from Northeast. Is there the breakthrough they so thoroughly deserve? The way they're playing here, just every ball is just slicing Kerala in half. No look pass then as well. It was nicely played from Putti. Watch this. He looks this way. Whoops. There you go. Wonderful ball to Galeo. Bhavan Kumar. <laughs> oh, you've got to be confident to do that. I take my hat off to him. That was brilliant. I hope we get a replay of that. He's made this position his own. Roland's in again here. Great running. But Curler not out of this at all. As the keeper comes and it's the post. And they squandered the rebound. My oh my. The moment to stand up and make a huge statement in the game. He didn't lose his poise here. If anyone looks like doing something, it's this man, Halicharan. Yeah, Halicharan's been the bright spark for Kerala this first half. Good steal. Too much bend, although it's gone straight to Betje. He's trying with Chigan. Was there a hand? Ooh. It's hit the chest, no one's complaining. It'll be interesting to see Petit with the ball in. Pesic doesn't clear it well enough. And Betje checks back that yard. That's going goal bound. That is a handball, and that, in my opinion, 
Oh, no, it's at his chest. There you go. The arms are raised, and that's why I'm betting. They're aiming for Chingan. And that, in fact, is the final whistle of the first half. Ilko Shatori will take the notepad and pen. David James. I'm just wondering who would be uh, the more concerned at half time. The countdown is on. And it's the home side who get us underway in the second half. A half that livened up uh, in the first stanza. Oh, silky run by Gallego going right through them. Unselfishly inside when he could have gone for goal himself. He wanted to play one of his teammates in. The run of the game. He's got to pull the trigger there for me. Again, it just looks like he's paddling. He's treading water. Then all of a sudden, zip. That little change of pace. And he goes past players like they're not there. Here, look, he's strolling. Then all of a sudden, he realises Sal's there. And bang, he goes past Pessic like he's not there. I think he should have shot there. I really, really do. Reagan. It's a deep ball, it's a good ball, the keeper doesn't hit it clean, and Betjes! Overhead's not powerful enough, should he have just left it for his teammate to shoot for goal? No, he goes there, should just have let him come onto the ball. There's bodies everywhere at the moment. There's too much wrong with Sandy. She had a good look around to make sure. You can see there he's trying to get up. Kelly's gone over as well, cramping up with his calf. I thought his own keeper connected with him. Yeah, I told you, there's nothing wrong with that. You see Kevin Eat closely tagged. Chingan, he won't be able to get to that because the other headed it away. And now that was bending nicely. That's not a bad first touch for CK Vanit. Yeah, for me, the way that makes this mistake because he heads it back into the middle rather than heading it wide. Great touch from Vanit. Gael just trying to gamble on the off chance that it was a miscontrol. Lovely touch and turn, though. And CK, well, looking for that top corner, but... Oh. Here is the Uruguayan to a deep. Lifts it over the keeper. Tell it clear. And finally, out of that danger zone. And the counter-attack is on now for the Kerala Blasters. Four on four, it's quickly going to become four on six as Northeast come scurrying back for Platnik. He tried to play the ball through and then the attempt that was going away from goal anyway deflects for the corner. It's a dangerous corner because it results in the breakthrough goal. The man who has waited so long for Platnik, he finally delivers, having done so in their opening game of the season, and coincidentally, it was ahead of that day. It propelled them to a 2-0 win in Kolkata. This one has them 1-0 up with time to spare. Well, can they hang on? That's going to be the big question. Where's the marking? It's awful. It's got to be said. It's a dangerous ball in, the keeper fists it away, but it goes straight to Gallego. He'll look to turn and lift again, which he does. One of the Kerala players is down in the box now, two are down, requiring treatment and attention. Bit of cramp, I think, more than anything. And then was one, Sandy Shield out. Diraj again being positive. There is a little opening, and it's gone wide right of the mark. The kill has only recently come on. What a moment it could have been for him and his team, and for the devoted fans in the northeast of India. Oh, pretty adamant there. The northeast players thinking that was a corner. Let's have a look. They don't have to rush this. 
There's lots of time left. Oh, it's a penalty. It's gone against Chingan. Can you believe it? The script is changing again in stoppage time. North East are presented with a golden opportunity to draw level. Correct decision. Absolutely correct decision. Chingan's absolutely flattened him there, Pam. At home. Obeche against the teenager. It's 1-1. One, one, and there's time of plenty. That's why he's springing back to halfway. What a twist in the tail here. History repeats itself again. Kerala conceded goals late against Mumbai in the 90th. 85th against Delhi. 81st against Bengaluru. And in stoppage time here tonight. The Sunday up. I tell you what, the tail's really got that on from the northeast. Was he ever going to miss this? I bet you with just that little swagger. Some of the crosses have fallen flat. Little dink on. Free shot, what a goal! Oh! Masia Magic! Northeast have pulled it off, surely! An absolute belter of a goal! Incredible! Well, thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly deserved. The Northeast, well, that never saved thy attitude, and it's there for all to see. All those fans enjoy themselves as well. Stand up, Nasir, take it back, coming on as a sub, and smashing it home. Against Mumbai, and that was the game. That was the first loss for them this season. Their sixth game of the campaign. This is game number seven. It's game number seven that propels them into the top four and close to the summit of the top of the Hero Indian Super League. David James will reflect on a, a period of madness in a sense.